and welcome to a talk IT tutorial. So this is going to be the Python game. We're going to be doing lab five this time. So getting straight on it. Last one, what we did is the game initialization, getting the user's guess. Um, not sorry, getting the getting the user's input. Um, and now what we're going to be doing in this this one is actually going through uh, getting their guess, checking it, the blacks and whites for it, and actually having creating an end-to-end -end playable game. Uh, with the player versus the computer so straight away we need to do uh, the uh, main script here we need to add a list for the user's guess um, and then we also need to make a call uh, for that so I'm, what I'm going to do is just open up uh, main here like so Okay, so user guess. Let's put that at the top, as I suggested that we'll do last time, and then we're going to make our call here. Service layer main. So get the player guess. So let's remove that comment. So user guess equals master service layer dot get guess, passing in the number of pegs as the parameter so this is the code here for that so what i'll do is i'll pop it in first um, and then can go over it just adding that separate it out a little bit pull that back indent this region of code so get the the guess which is just an, a user input if guess is equal to quit then we exit the application else we spit that guess on commas because that's what it's meant to be uh, if the length of the guess is not equal to the number of pegs we call an invalid move I'll do more about that in a second else we go through uh, the for every value in the range um, from 0 to the length of the guess in step 1's what we do is make sure that the, the guess value that R etc um, is in the uh, master service there dot get colors list so the the list of colors that user can play with um, if it's not we call invalid move uh, once that's done what we do is just return the guess so that's the user's guess once it's all been validated so you saw that there's a master service there invalid move so what that does is actually just raises an exception um, and what we do is bubble that up to the uh, the main the main script and deal with it there so we've got an, an invalid move here so what it does just prints invalid move to the user and then it arrays a runtime error so what we have to do is go into main and we have to deal with this so around here what we do is just put a, a try and then remember the indentation except runtime error uh, what we're going to do is when we get it we're actually just going to continue uh, because what's going to happen is it's just going to go through the loop again it's just going to ask them to input their data um, input their guess again um, on doing that then it will validate it and they have to get it right before it will go through again so save that run the module 441 Okay, so ma master service layer has no attribute get guess. The reason for that is that I forgot to save it. So now I've saved it, I can get rid of that uh, and I can run that again. So run module 441 get guess red, blue, green, yellow. And again, we can just put in loads of stuff and it's just going to keep going for in, in like an infinite loop, as I've explained before. So kill that. Okay, so now we have their guess. We need to get the, uh, the number of uh, black and whites from it effectively. But before we do that, what we're going to be doing is incrementing guess number and then we're going to append... Um, their guess to a guess list uh, which will help us when we update the GUI uh, later so going down to main here so we've got the continue increment that 
include the guest list here. So go up to the top, bonk that in, and continue on. So we have a few variables that we're going to be adding. So uh, what they are is you've got blacks, whites, a blacklist, and a whitelist. So this is what's displayed to the user, and this is what's uh, used in the code. So we, we call the service there, we call check guess, and what we do is we get a black and white value back. We get a black and white value back, and then we append those to the black and white lists. So again, this is in main. After this, make sure that's indented properly. So we've got black, white, blacklist and whitelist, and we append those. Um, and as you can imagine, what we're going to be doing is adding the check guest to the service layer. So doing that now. Like so. Just adding that, indenting here. Black equals zero, white equals zero. We have a, a blacklist and a whitelist. Uh, what we're passing into it, let's have a look. So the user guess and the peg list. So this is their guess and the secret. There's a nicer way to do this, and I'll show you it in the uh, AI, but for now we're going to keep it simple. Um, and we go through each value in their guess, and if the value matches what's in the secret value, we, we increment a black number, um, and we add that to the blacklist else we append it to the whitelist and we go through the whitelist um, and if the uh, the letter is in the in the um, comp list here so this is the the complete list the secret list and not in the black list uh, then we increment white um, and then we return those and this creates your black and white numbers that informs the user of how they've done with their guess so we need to just finally now see if they've won so going to main here so we've appended that uh, and we can get rid of those and we can see if they've won again so service layer have one here uh, we've already got the uh, the variable answer for that so there's need, no need to think about doing that so have one in the service layers so that's again another little function here Ooh. like that remembering to indent so if black pegs equals the number of pegs very simple you've won else what we're going to be doing is calling mass my gui and update the gui so this is really what's the big one here. So we go to our GUI. I'm just going to save that quickly so don't make the, the last problem, the, the mistakes like we did last time. Uh, there you go. Def. Uh, define that. Oh, that wasn't too good. GUI, I want to... Format on to indent that. Okay, cool. So GUI for iron range 25. So we just print some new lines just to make it a little bit clearer. The text is empty. We have empty text. Counter equals zero. For so for each of their guess, what we do is we fill up this text which we've set to empty, which is going to be representing their guess effectively, their input. Uh, per their attempt number uh, what it gets this from is obviously that that list that we fill up of the user guesses um, so the what I've called the user guess list load here um, and then it gets the white and black values that they had for their previous guesses through blacklist load and whitelist load um, and then we have uh, any guesses that haven't been taken yet that are filled with uh, just what we would normally call in a draw GUI which just gives it uh, the full board still but it's just all empty so now we can just run the code and hopefully everything works so 
So just pulling that across. Uh, one, so uh, let's have a look. Red, red, blue, blue. Oh, black number equals one, white number equals two. So red, blue, red, blue. Okay, so I'm gonna go with red, blue, and then I'm gonna go green, green maybe. Red, blue, green, Ooh, green, green. Okay, so it should be RB at the end, green, green, RB. Okay, so we've got something that's a little bit off there, so green, blue, red, blue. Green, red, red, blue. Okay, what haven't I tried yet? Green, yellow, red, blue. There you go, you've won. Game's working, uh, brilliant all done so that's that lab and um, what we're going to be moving on to the next time is actually the ai part of it uh, which is where it gets really complex um, and a little bit more fun and the coding moves up a little bit level in its complexity so i hope you've enjoyed thank you for listening